big box, big box, huge box. It won't even fit in the frame all the way. What's up guys? It's Danny, back with another video. And it's been a while since I've done a video on Google Fiber, but it's time. It's been several years, I believe. I think I got it in 2015 or 2016, one of those years. Um, but this is the Google Fiber kit, or the upgrade kit, I should say. Um, you may or may not know, but Google Fiber is getting rid of cable, which I don't use cable. My grandpa does. It's not a huge deal. I'm going to set him up with a nice antenna. Um, but I'm also thinking about getting YouTube TV, which has cable services on it. It's digital cable, basically, uh, which is, you know, cable over the Internet. Um, but we are getting new um, devices for our TV. So instead of having cable boxes, we're going to have Chromecast. Which, you know, basically is like having an Apple TV on every TV. Um, so, because it's got all the smart apps like Hulu and Netflix and all the other stuff. All those streaming apps, Disney Plus, I mean, a ton of them. So this video is showing exactly what you get when you get the upgrade kit from Google Fiber. And by the way, this costs nothing. This is free. Free for all Google Fiber customers. Um, they're actually going to decrease the bill because right now with cable, phone, and internet, I pay $220 a month which is too much. Um, but now they're getting rid of cable and we're getting rid of the phone. We're gonna have just one gig up and down uh, internet. Uh, it's gonna be like 75 a month, which is great. Now if we add YouTube TV, they're gonna add another 65, I believe, 60, 65 a month, but that's still cheaper. Those two things compare, combined are still cheaper than what I'm currently paying, which is 220 a month for cable uh, TV or cable is TV for cable, phone, and internet. So uh, no more of that. They're they're phasing it out the last day to have um, coaxial cable with Google Fiber. It's February 28th, so of 2022. So this is it. I got my kit already as of today. I actually ordered it yesterday. Got it today. They overnighted it via FedEx Saturday delivery. Shout out to you, Google. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you what we get in this box. There should be two. Uh, Google Wi-Fi puck things and three Chromecast. So it's a pretty heavy box. So let's go ahead and find my scissors and we are going to slice it open. You can tell it's Google with all the pastel colors they use in their branding. So um, I think yeah this I'm going to put like that bag sat your delivery. Okay, there's the lid, and it's so big it's gonna hit the camera if I'm not careful. Okay, it says, "Hi Google Fi Google Fiber customer." I'm gonna say Google Fiber customer, which I'm also one of those. Uh, Hi Google Fiber customer. This box contains new commit that we've sent you to make your Wi-Fi and TV experience to a new level. To take your Wi-Fi and TV experience to a new level. Before you can set it up, you need to visit fiber.google.com slash myfiber and click upgrade now. You may have to scroll down a bit once you're in your account to see this. Okay? So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna screen cap I'm gonna screen capture, not scream capture. I'm gonna screen capture um, my screen when we do that. So, but before we even get started, let's look at this. Here's the let's get started um, little pamphlet thing. You get a Google Fiber magnet, so you can put this on your uh, refrigerator. And what you do is you write your Wi-Fi name and, the, and then the password to the Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool. So, I will definitely use that for my grandpa. Um, so, step one, find your fiber jack. That's easy. Step two, set up your Google Wi-Fi. Step three, set up your Chromecast. Step four, sign up for your Google Live or for your Live TV service. So we are going to do all of that on camera. And I am going to be switching between the Panasonic and my iPhone um, for when I'm setting up the TVs. So I'm going to find the fiber jack, which if you're a fiber customer, you already know what that looks like. It's the little thing that hangs off side or outside of, um, that hangs off the wall is what I'm trying to say. So we Google Wi-Fi. Okay, sweet. So in theory, this new equipment should pave the way for when they introduce 2 gig up and down soon. So they are slowly rolling it out. But what else in this box we get is there's one Chromecast. Very nice. There's another one. 
there's the third one. So I like that they include all this at no extra cost because this stuff normally costs, you know, a couple bucks. And then on the bottom it says date assembled January 12th, 2022. So these are brand new, like brand, brand new. So let's, uh, I'm going to move this box out of the way real quick. I'm going to pull out the other smaller box on the inside because there's nothing else in this big box except for paper and packaging material. And here's the smaller box. With It all starts here. This should be the Google Wi-Fi equipment. Yes, it is. Let's set up your internet. So very nice. Quick start guide. Now, I'm not going to need to do any of this because I, this is like easy for me, no brainer stuff. But for people who don't know how to do this, people who aren't tech, tech savvy, definitely go buy this book. It's super easy. I'll uh, just follow, really just follow the steps. It's, it's stupid easy. So, but I won't need that. Now moving on, we've got one Google Wi-Fi puck. Very nice. And a second Google Wi-Fi puck. So there you go. Pretty cool. And then we've got fiber jack power, which is a power adapter, I believe. And I think that's it. Actually, that might just be a cable. Let's, let's open it real quick. Instead of guessing, let's just open it. No, I was right. It's just a power adapter. Really? Micro USB? Come on, Google. USB-C, you of all people should know. Anyway, that's fine. So, before we get started on setting up everything, I'm going to open up one of these right now and one Chromecast just to show you what you get in the box. But keep in mind, I've got three Chromecast total and two Wi-Fi boxes, but they're all the same on the inside. I just want to show you what one looks like each. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and open up the Google Wi-Fi first. And it is wrapped in plastic, so if there, let me see if there's a tearaway port, point, not port, uh, there's not. Let me get the scissors again. I'm just like stumbling over my words today, I don't know why. No idea why. But no matter. Okay. So real quick, the tech specs on the Google Wi-Fi puck are, oh, so it's AC band, so AC 1200 um, band, so this dual band 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, and it's expandable to 802.11s mesh. Yes, these are mesh um, devices, which is great, way better than just regular router. Mesh is a more reliable home all around internet way less dead zones, very nice. So, that's the simplest way of explaining it. Yes, there's more technical term than that, but yeah. That's, in a nutshell, what mesh does. It's just a more reliable internet. Think of it as like a fence around your home. A wireless, invisible, digital fence. So there's the puck, very nice, very simple. This lights up blue or red or yellow or green, depending on what it's doing, but when it's functioning correctly, it lights up blue. There's a light in between that crack. So there's that. We also get hard to grab. There we go. Uh, a little let's get started pamphlet. Nothing crazy. Power cable. Pretty nice. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. Looks like a ethernet cable as well, which is crucial. You do need this for internet. So a flat cable, very nice, very high quality. I like that a lot. I really do. Anything else in here? I don't think there is. Nope, that's the end. Okay, I'm gonna toss all this back in for the time being. And that is that. So real quick, here's a close up of the bottom of the router puck 
Very nice. I'm telling you, really, really high quality stuff. Like this isn't some Comcast or Spectrum crap. Like this is, mm, Google is the best when it comes to internet. I'm telling you, and I know not everybody gets to experience Google Fiber. You know, Google Fiber is not in every city. It's just not. But it, the fact that it came to Kansas City first is huge. I know it's in Houston. I know it's in a lot of part, a lot of places in Texas. There's some places on the East Coast it's in. It's just it's not everywhere. I don't know if they're still expanding like they were when it first came out. Um, it, I was on the waiting list for like three years when it first came to Kansas City because it didn't come to Overland Park first, which is a city within a city. The suburb, the suburb, I guess is what you call it. Uh, it's one of the suburbs of Kansas City. It's Overland Park. But yeah. So there is that. Let's get into the Chromecast now. Very nice. They always change the look every few years of the Chromecast. This by far is the sleekest looking one, I think. But as you can see, you've got YouTube, YouTube TV, Netflix, Prime Video. You can't really see that. I mean, there we go. Prime Video, Apple TV, Spotify, Disney Plus, Hulu, ESPN, HBO Max, Sling, Paranormal Plus, and Stars. And yes, it is 4K. So, very nice. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm glad it is 4K too because, you know, I've got 4K TVs now, as a majority of the public does. Okay, this is the little puck itself. It's very simple. It just dangles out of your TV. You just plug it in, HDMI, it dangles. That's it. Actually, and I think you have to plug it in though. So there's, oh now see these, you do have to plug them in. But this, look at that. Like, why is this USB-C, but the other stuff not? The other, what was it? The, the power cable for the, the fiber jack is not USB-C, but this is, it's weird. It's funny, but yeah. But hey, I'll take it. There's some USB-C still, so that's great. And then here is the remote, which I've used before when setting up this at my dad's house last week. This is one of the easiest remotes I've ever held. It's so easy. What's crazy is there's no numbers on it, like a traditional TV remote. But the way fiber, fiber TV or YouTube TV is, you don't need a number pad. It's very simple, very Apple-like, I dare say. All you do is you tell the assistant what channel you want to watch. You hold this down and you speak, there's a mic, you speak into the remote and you can tell her, be like, well, watch CNN and she'll turn it to CNN, no problem, it's pretty cool. So there's that. And yes, here is the power adapter for the Chromecast as well as a wall plug. So very nice. Very simple, everything's white, I love it. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna demonstrate on one TV what this all looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my account and then we will cut to me setting it up on the Chromecast. And so we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Okay, so we are on the Google Fiber website now. I already have a, I already have an account with Google Fiber. So I don't need to like check my address or any of that stuff. They know very well who I am. Um, so I'm going to blur out a lot of this information uh, once I click my fiber account button because um, y'all don't need to know that. So, <laughs> all right, so we're going to fiber account. And hopefully I remember to blur this, but there's my address. It says your TV and Wi-Fi upgrade kit is on the way. Well, it's actually here now. So how do I tell them that it's here? Well, while I'm trying to figure out the other part, it looks like we do have options here for, for different digital cable options. Fubo TV, shout out to Jeremy. I know he likes watching Fubo. He always talks about it. I'm going to go with YouTube TV. Uh, I've done the uh, free trial before, and I was very impressed with it out of all of these. Philo, I've never even heard of. Uh, don't care. And Sling, meh. Uh, I would say... Your best two options would be Fubo or YouTube TV, but I'm a snob. I'm going to go with Google's option, YouTube TV. So I will do that later, but I'm not seeing a place where I can upgrade or tell them that I can upgrade or whatever. So I might just hook all this up um, 
anyway, because it's not. Maybe I go to manage. Hold on. Hold on. Before you can set it up, you will need to visit Fiber. The that's where I'm at. Fiber, yeah, fiber.google.com slash my fiber. Click over it now. So I don't think that FedEx is registered with Google yet that I've received my package. I do not know, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I guess I will worry about that later. We're gonna go ahead and continue setting up the um, equipment. So, all right, so. It's time to set up this stuff. This is out of the living room. This is where my grandpa stays mostly, for the most part. Um, gonna switch them to the Chromecast. For, again, we're coming from cable from Google Fiber. This box is now uh, going away. So, gonna hook up the stuff and document it all and show you guys. I have my Canon G7X Mark II that I'm using the film with because I'm going to need my phone to set up the. Um, uh, Chromecast itself. And by the way, uh, I had to call Google Fiber. Well, actually, I, I hit up their 24-7 chat support, and they got me going. So, uh, it's not exactly straightforward as they want it to be. It didn't show the Upgrade Now button ever on my account, so they did it from their end. That's the cool thing is, 24-7 chat, so if you have the same problem I did, just hit up their chat line. Um, it's pretty simple. I was I was up and going within 20 minutes or so. Not bad at all. So now we uh, ignore my dust, but now we are going to set up this and then I'll show you the process of that. Okay. So it's all hooked up and it's dinging at me to hit these two buttons. I'm going to do that. I said I'm going to do that. Bruh. Wait, does it have batteries? Wait, just put batteries in it. Okay, hold on. I need to put batteries in it. Okay, as soon as I put the batteries in, it found the remote, no problem. Uh, this does come with two AAAs, and they're white to match the remote. Go figure. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to really hold the remote up because it's kind of hard to see because I'm in low light, but, you know, I guess you can kind of see it. But you saw it in the unboxing. Anyway, here we go. The screen, I know it's blown out on the camera. But it does say, to choose a language, we're going to choose English. Okay, I need to scan the QR code with my phone. So let me grab my phone real quick. And try to do all this as I can while holding a camera. So it'll go into the Google Home app. You set up everything with the new um, Google Fiber equipment. I just showed my address. I need to blur it out. So you set up the new Google Fiber equipment in the Google Home app. That's how everything is ran. It's so nice. So right now it's looking for devices. I mean, they make it pretty much like, like brain dead easy, honestly. So the hardest thing was calling Google to get it going. But once I did, no problem. And it's not focusing, but it is. And it has found my Chromecast device. So I'm hitting next. This is really hard to do. Uh, my phone is massive. My hands are not. I need two hands, I'll be honest. I cannot reach the next button. Come on. I just had, I just had to pick the iPhone 13 Pro Max anyway. All right, so now it's connecting to the Chromecast. Okay, the shapes are all bouncing on both the TV and the phone. And it is now connected just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do an update and stuff like that. So I will show you what that looks like once it's all done. Uh, actually, I'll show you the home screen once it's all done. So be right back. Okay, and as you can see, it is currently installing the system update. So... Uh, everything's going pretty well, so that's good. Very nice indeed. Pretty smooth process from here on out. So I did I did select some apps that that it will install uh, on the, on I did it on the phone. I love how you can just use your phone to tell it what to install and all that stuff. And then 
Um, all you have to do is once the apps are fully installed after the system updates, then I just sign into these accounts and I can begin enjoying um, my my streaming services. I do want to show you YouTube TV, so I'm probably going to sign up for it here shortly. I absolutely love the aesthetics that Google Fiber has for their products. I mean, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Such a beautiful, clean interface with all the, the four colors. I will say, though, it does remind me of Microsoft. Microsoft and Google use the same four colors. I don't know if you realize that. Uh, they may be slightly off, but they're pretty close to each other. So, yeah. There it is. Google TV. Very nice. And now, camera is blurry because it doesn't know what to focus on because there's nothing on the screen. That's going to reestablish the connection. Connected. It's probably going to install the apps now, I believe. And if it does, we'll just cut back to it once we're done. Okay. Yeah, down there at the bottom. It's going to install the apps I selected on the iPhone. It's very nice. And, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Oh, yeah. And we need to set the remote, so I'll do that, too. Okay, be right back. Real quick, I'm watching Logan play while I wait. He's in the smoke. I'll show you. We're going to watch Logie play for a second while we're waiting. Someone play it. Come back to this. <gasps> Look at this guy playing Valorant. Just Valorant. Spike down B. Last player standing. One down. I see Saffron says, uh, Chief just beat the Bills in overtime. Dave would be happy. Yes, you're right, Saffron. When you watch this video, you are definitely correct. I'm very happy. Too bad Tim the Tap Man's not. <laughs> He's a jinx, though, so it is. Stop using Jonas. I mean, stop using, uh, Judges. Actually, though, but it's just we're going, hey, you might as well. Alright, just watch out for the element. Element loves the judge. All right, so now it should be almost done, and it might restart, or it may just it may just start up. I'm not sure. I forget. Either way. Okay, it's just gonna start right up. Chrome is ready. Chromecast is ready. All right, so this is the menu of the Chromecast, which uh, over the years has gotten really good. Uh, I remember when I got I got the first Chromecast Gen One that came out years ago, and it was bare bones, crappy. Uh, this is this is equivalent to like Apple TV, really. Um, didn't cost nearly as much, but yeah. So we've got search function, which is cool. Um, and you know, it tells you different things you can say, like what's the weather tomorrow? And yes, you just speak into the tomorrow lights. in Overland Park. It'll be partly cloudy with a high of fifty and a low of twelve. Wow. It has not been 50 degrees in a while. But yeah, you just speak into the micro microphone that's built into the remote, and it's it's so cool. Um, you know, I can do open Netflix. Opening Netflix. Obviously, when I can play anything, it's going get claimed to hell if I did. So, but yeah, it opens up Netflix. And then we got me and my family and, and all that. So, obviously, I'm not going to go further than this because I'm not trying to get yeeted. Um, so, we've got all my apps already installed here, ready to go. So, okay, I don't know. I, I didn't watch that. Did I? I may have watched it on accident. Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney, YouTube TV, Sling, Hulu, HBO Max, Apple TV, YouTube Music. So, 
I have been watching Ozark, as you can see. I'm on episode three. Love that show. It's so good. Uh, but yeah, we can bring up YouTube real quick, which I can show because it's YouTube. Just gonna sign in. And once again, there's Logie. That's true. He's doing his job. It's instant. I love it. Somebody judges. So now we're watching Logan for some reason streaming on the YouTube app on the Chromecast. It's so nice. It's very quick. Highly impressed. I don't know if he's playing with Elijah or not, but yeah. Yo, could I get a heal? He's still playing Valorant. Uh, we can go to. I streamed last night. Watch it. It's funny, I'm covering up my own camera. Um, but behind this camera is me on the stream. This was last night. We had to have a hot drop. We kept dying. <laughs> so yeah, you, you get the point on that. Um, but yeah. So. That is that. We're at the home button on the remote. It takes us back to the home. Uh, YouTube TV, which is my new cable service. Since they got rid of cable with Google Fiber, I now use YouTube TV, which is a digital Google Fiber service. Signed in, just like that. Uh, I can definitely get claimed if I watch, you know, videos or shows on here. So we're just going to go live real quick. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to go right to the news where I won't get claimed because it's just local news. We saved over $450. But as you Switched can see, to AAA insurance today. And this you can save an cable. average of $483 on auto insurance. Compare That's that so to cool. State Farm, Geico, even Allstate. Call now for your free AAA. And of course, you can rewind and watch different parts of the broadcast. Vehicles. Toyota. Moisture on your walls and basement. I guess I haven't been watching long enough, but yeah, as you can see, I can go back a little bit, just a few seconds. Floors. If you've had it on for a while, then you can. You need a water protection watch. system. Um, At Foundation Recovery Systems, we offer permanent solutions what that help put your worries to rest. Call us today for a free inspection. Trying to find something where I won't get claimed on. By switching Anything over to AAA NFL Insurance, dangerous. we saved over $450. Switch to AAA Insurance today, and you could save an average of $483 on auto insurance. Compare that to State yeah, Farm, Geico, all this. Even all all this is live Call TV. now for your free AAA full so, picture quote cool. to find out how much you... Pretty cool. There's Hulu and Apple TV, which I probably still need to log into those, but yeah. It's very nice. So you, I think you get the gist. Uh, up here we go to, that's live, what we were watching a little bit ago. Here's movies, all kinds of movies. Pretty cool. You can rent Dune, Detective Pichu, which I actually own physically. Free Guy, I've yet to see, but I hear is really good. So, pretty cool stuff. Shows, apps you can download. You can download more apps. Like, yeah. So, these are my, these are all my emulator apps I have downloaded to the um, the NVIDIA Shield. So they show up on here, which is pretty cool. I just love how it's like it can find everything. I just think that's so cool. And then library. And the only thing I have in library is one movie I bought years ago. Going Clear, Scientology, and The Prison of Belief. So definitely don't want to play that because I will get claimed. But yeah, there you go. That's just a quick look, guys. Uh, really happy with Google Fiber. Uh, really happy with the update. There's my personal <laughs> background, my personal screensaver. That's been on there since 2018. Jeez. But yeah. Uh, love, love, love this device. I love the new Google Fiber update. And so if you have Google Fiber and they are updating in your area, you can now have a more of a an idea of what to expect. So I hoped, I hope this video was able to help you. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I know the video is a little long, but I, I tried to be more in depth than normal. So any questions, feel free to comment in the comments below. It's kind of redundant, but 
Feel free to leave a comment in the comments below. I did it again. <laughs> Feel free to comment below is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, yeah. Appreciate your support, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all in the next video. And, um, yeah. I love Google Fiber. I don't see myself ever getting rid of it, honestly. So, take care.